Hey everyone, my name is Jessie Jennings and welcome to a very special edition of Craft Break. Um, this month is Mod Podge month here at Plaid and everywhere for that matter. So all month long we've been giving really fun Mod Podge projects and inspiration on all of our social channels. Um, today we have all of the creators here in the studio to talk about their favorite Mod Podge formulas. So you guys know our original Mod Podge formulas, matte satin and glass that we, we love so much. You can make so many different kinds of projects, but we also have lots of really fun specialty formulas. So like I said, we're all in the studio today to talk about some of our favorites and uh, make sure you stick around to the end because we have a very special guest who will be joining us for the end of this little um, Mod Podge extravaganza that we're having today. Uh, we'll also be talking about giveaways um, and lots of fun things we have going on this week and on Friday for National Mod Podge Day. Um, so first up, we have Emma here today talking about her favorite formula, which is photo transfer. So I'll pass it over to you. Awesome. Thanks, Jesse. So happy, um, I guess, Mod Podge Day Eve Eve, right? Yeah. Because it's Wednesday, <laughs> exactly. Mod Podge Day is Friday. So yeah, my favorite uh, Mod Podge formula is Mod Podge Photo Transfer. There's actually three really great products kind of under the photo transfer family in the Mod Podge brand. We have our clear image transfer, our um, heat transfer tool, and then also our classic photo transfer. And there's lots of benefits for all three different formulas so I'm gonna walk you through it um, quickly and do a demo with our photo transfer really quickly how's that sound Jess that sounds great I'm excited okay so we're gonna be making this really sweet little um, tote bag with our little dog Luna here so one thing you want to know about any one of these products is that you're going to want to have a dry toner copy of your photo. Um, another thing to remember, if you have any words or numbers or something like that that you want to maintain its original orientation, then you're going to want to reverse your photo in whatever kind of um, software you have to do that. A lot of Microsoft programs you can do that really easily with, so it's not something to worry about. So I am going to uh, apply some of my Mod Podge photo transfer to the back, not the back, to the front of my photo. So it's kind of opposite of the way you would normally Mod Podge something. Exactly. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to apply a pretty generous layer of our Mod Podge photo transfer to our image here. Make sure we get all of the corners of it. Right up into the sides, and then we're gonna essentially lay it down onto our tote bag like that, smooth it out like you would do with any other uh, Mod Podge formula, any like original Mod Podge formula. And then you're going to let it dry for 24 hours, not overnight, 24 hours. Then you're going to get something like this. So we've placed our photo, photo side down onto our surface and it's going to look like this when it's totally dry. Here I just have a really damp sponge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab that damp sponge all over my image until every section of our photo is really damp. And you'll be able to start to see your photo kind of come through. I'm just gonna take my finger, but you can use um, your sponge if you want, any kind of Mod Podge tool that you want that's similar to that. And I'm just going in a circular motion very gently with my finger and just removing some of that paper until we're left with just the ink of the image, really. That's awesome. This is so great for personalizing for gifts and things like that. Exactly. You can do this with any photo. So lots of family photos. It makes really great gifts for loved ones. Yeah, that's um, awesome. I know a lot of people have graduation right now, so you could make Ooh. really sweet tote bags of memories, friend memories, and family memories. Um, lots of things you can do with this product. So I just want to kind of mention, too, some of the differences between our photo transfers, Jess. So our clear image transfer, um, it's really great for smooth surfaces. It works really well on like wood, canvas, things like that. Our photo transfer is really great for all of the things that clear image transfer is good for, but also fabric. And so once you remove this extra layer of paper, it is um, 
it's going to be sealed. You don't have to apply any other layers of your Mod Podge to it. And then it's actually washable, which is pretty special. That's so awesome. you can make pillows, um, tote bags, wearable items, things like that. That's really special. And um, another thing too, here I have a little coaster. This was with our clear image transfer. And you'll actually be able to see a little bit of our wood grain from our wood coaster coming through our image. So that's another benefit to mm. our clear image transfer as opposed to our photo transfer, which you would still maintain that really crisp white background of your photo. Gotcha. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much what I have for photo transfer. We have three really great products for you to use. Um, I encourage you to test them out and see which one is your favorite. But yeah, those are my favorite Mod Podge formulas. Thanks, Jess. Awesome. Thanks, Em. Um, and don't forget, you can purchase all of these products we're talking about here today on plaidonline.com. So you can go there and find all of the frequently asked questions and features and benefits and purchase all of these formulas, um, ones you've tried out before, maybe ones you need to restock on. Um, so make sure to go to plaidonline.com slash Mod Podge and you can see all of these there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about my favorite Mod Podge formula, which is Mod Podge Outdoor. So this is a really versatile one. It's really great for spring and summer when you're making all of your outdoor crafts um, because just like the title, you can craft things and then put them outside. Um, so you can see these are so cute. These super cute um, uh, upcycled mushroom lamps that are made by my friend Sherry here at Plaid. She used napkins and old bowls and vases she found at the thrift store and then used some Mod Podge Outdoor. So we could put these on a covered area outside on a patio or a deck or something like that and they'll be safe from the elements. But we also have a really exciting new formula called Mod Podge Water Resistant. So just like Mod Podge Outdoor, you can you know, use this for all of your different decoupage projects. It works great as a glue and sealer, um, but this is water resistant. So you can put this outside in the elements um, where it's raining or where it's gonna get wet and humid and it will keep your project safe. So just a little bit of a difference between these two formulas. Mod Podge Outdoor, great for outside and covered areas. You know, it can still be humid and things like that. But this one you can put directly outside. Rocks in your garden, planters. Uh, we even have a really cute birdhouse here that we have um, used our water resistant on. So you can hang this up in a tree and it'll be safe um, from the elements. So super cute and super fun. Um, I've got some little oyster shells here that we did with Mod Podge Outdoor. So um, I can put these out on my patio for the summertime if we've got a beach house. This is a really great way to decorate. We've got some napkins on here. Um, just decoupage them the, the way we would normally decoupage napkins, but just using our outdoor formula. And then of course we added some treasure gold because we love a little shimmer and sparkle here at Plaid. So um, just lots of really fun and different ways you can use our Mod Podge outdoor formulas, um, just the way you'd use any of our other decoupage here. So um, I think we're ready to pass it over to our next creator here. So you all know and love Chris Williams, and she's going to be talking about her favorite formula, which is Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe. So I'll pass it on over to you, Chris. Well, thank you, Jesse. I am Chris Williams, and I don't know that I definitely have a full favorite because there's what's there not to love about Mod Podge? There's so many different formulas. <laughs> but today I'm going to share with you one that I think is a very unique formula. Have you ever thought about decoupaging on glass and wishing that it would last forever, that you could wash it? And when I say decoupage, we usually talk about paper. So whether it be scrapbook paper or a newsprint or your children's artwork or even a beautiful napkin on glassware. And then you want to use that glassware, whether it be a, a mug or a glass or a vase. And you think, gosh, I can't wash it. Well, guess what? We've got the answer for you and that is Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe. So yes, Mod Podge has a formula that allows you to apply paper to any kind of a washable glass or ceramic, glaze ceramic surface and it then becomes permanent to that surface. It will be top shelf dishwasher safe once it's all on there. There's a couple key things to remember and that is to fully encapsulate the paper. So uh, as an example, this little coffee mug, oh, we're overhead. This little coffee mug that I have here, this was done with a little napkin, and then we put the letter A on top of here. You want to make sure that if this letter A was done with scrapbook paper, that you are fully encapsulating or you're fully covering all of the surface, including the edges, really well. And it's best to brush on at least three coats 
of Mod Podge dishwasher safe, allowing it to fully dry between each application. And once it's dry, once it's cured, um, then it is completely top shelf dishwasher safe. But I happen to be an artist, so I always say if I've hand created something, I'm going to hand wash it. But this is proven to be top shelf dishwasher safe. And I brought along with me a couple examples that I want to share with you and a couple tools. This set here of the Mod Podge little brushes happens to be my favorite. I just think these little brushes are adorable. They fit so well in your hand when you are brushing your Mod Podge onto your surface. They're beautiful. And look at these gorgeous Mod Podge colored ferrules. Aren't they just wonderful, Jesse? I love Jessie? those. They're so cute. I know. I mean, what's there not to love I about these fun little tools? They're my favorite. I tend to use them with all of my Mod Podge projects, not just the Mod Podge dishwasher safe. And I want to share with you that for those of us that, um, and especially I know some of my friends who are, they are aging and they love sparkle. They love glitter. Mod Podge is perfect for adding that really extra special touch of glitter onto a glass, uh, a, wine, a stemless wine, or even if you had a stem wine glass. You can decorate this so beautifully with loose glitter. All of us love that loose glitter. So what you would do is you would then, if you want to do a, a certain line across the top here, you would use a piece of painter's tape and tape that line. You would brush on, using your fun little Mod Podge brush, brush on your dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Uh, then you'd sprinkle your loose glitter on here, let it completely dry, and then you will top coat with the Mod Podge dishwasher safe and you know what I can rub all over this whole glass I'm not getting a bit of glitter in my hands because it is top sealed on the glassware itself look at this fun glass here and I could use this as a paintbrush holder or a pencil this is all made with a chunkier glitter so fun and think about plates oh my gosh you could decorate a plate this is done actually on the top surface here on the band so that it, you can now apply food or serve a cookie or something, a special cupcake. Maybe this is your birthday cupcake plate in the house. You can now put a special cupcake here in the center and this plate can be washed over and over and over again. If you don't ever want to decorate the top surface of a plate, I do have another plate here. This whole top surface is the clear glass. Perhaps you can see the sheen all the decoration is done on the back side and this is a combination of our brilliant treasure gold colors which also are multi-surface and they are dishwasher safe and then the pattern that you see here through the top of the glass is actually a patterned napkin so napkins are so fun to use when you are decoupaging today on all different types of surfaces jesse don't you just love the dishwasher safe formula? I do love it. I think it's so great. Like you said, normally if you hand make it, you should hand wash it, but this is definitely an exception, which is really convenient. Right. I brought along with me uh, a beautiful big tall glass vase. This is a, a wonderful surface that can be decorated. As I mentioned, you can do glazed ceramics. So why have an ordinary glass or glazed ceramic flower vase in your home when you can then jazz it up with any kind of uh, scrapbook paper or Mod Podge uh, napkins to that. It just makes a beautiful, beautiful piece. I was um, honored several years ago to be able to meet Jan Whetstone, the actual creator of Mod Podge, and I think she put together a fabulous product. And Plaid then has put together so many different formulas. I think you're going to love each and every one of them. Awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. Um, so like I said, guys, in case you guys are just tuning in, it is National Mod Podge Month. So today we are having a very special craft break and we have all of our plaid creators here in the studio today to talk about their favorite formulas of Mod Podge. So that was just Chris Williams talking about dishwasher safe, um, which just like the title lets you know that you can put your Mod Podge projects in the dishwasher. She went over a little bit about how to do that. So you can always go back and watch this replay and check that out. Um, but we have lots more to talk about today. We have all of our, uh, like I said, plaid content creators here in the studio to talk about their favorite formulas. Um, so while we're setting up with our next creator, I'm going to talk about some Mod Podge tools. Chris touched on it a little bit just now. She showed us some of her favorite brushes that she likes to use with when she's Mod Podging. Um, but a lot of people don't know, we have some really awesome Mod Podge tools. So in addition to those super mod and cute patterned brushes Chris had, 
Um, we have these as well. So these are our just regular decoupage brushes. So you can see here they have the short um, bristles here, which is great for spreading Mod Podge really smoothly. So these are really a must have for when you're doing your big decoupage and you're using lots of Mod Podge. It comes in three sizes for all the different size projects you might be doing. You can do detailed stuff too, um, but they're really, really handy to have in your craft box. We also have, if you're a Mod Podger who likes to do furniture, we've got Furniture Mod Podge too, you'll want one of these big brushes. So this is great for large areas. If you're doing a dresser or an end table or even like a large tray or something like that, this is a really awesome one to have because you can spread that Mod Podge really wide and really smooth. Um, and like I said, it's got some of those narrow brushes as well or bristles as well. So it's really great for smoothing out your Mod Podge. Um, this one is really similar to the one I just showed you. It's a smaller version, so it's got that nice little handle. It's really comfy to hold. It's really user friendly. Um, and the short bristles to make sure your Mod Podge is super duper smooth. And then this is probably one of my favorite tools that we have in our Mod Podge tool line. Um, and this is the two in one smoothing tool. So not only does it have this brayer here, this roller that can smooth down your papers for when you're decoupaging, but it also has a squeegee attached. So that's really awesome for getting out bubbles. So when you're doing cardstock, scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, whatever you have to be Mod Podging, you can use that to remove any bubbles. Um, it's great for all different kinds of craft projects, but I just love that it's two in one. So I don't don't have to have a squeegee and a brayer in my craft box. I can just have this tool and then I can do both. Um, so I think our next creator is ready. So um, next up we have Tanisha Jones here and she's going to be telling us about one of our, our newer formulas that you guys I'm sure have heard us talking about a lot because we just love it so much and it's so versatile and that is Mod Podge Resin. So I'm going to pass it over to Tanisha. Hi everybody, my name is Tanisha and I am talking about resin. You may or may not know that resin is under the Mod Podge line and resin is really, really fun. It does take a little bit of prep work, so we're gonna walk through that and talk about it. But the projects that you can make are phenomenal. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet, different things that you can do with resin. They're all gorgeous, all really fun, and they're all, they all have like this wow kind of concept to them. Um, so we're going to kind of go over that. First of all, I just want to let you know that our uh, resin does come in two different sizes. So we have the larger kit and the smaller kit, and this is just the A and B product. So what happens with resin is it's a one-to-one -one A and B. So you mix exactly the same amount together. You stir it for three minutes until it becomes uncloudy. Once it's clear, you let it sit for a little bit so those bubbles can come up. Uh, you get rid of your bubbles and then you pour. And we'll kind of keep talking about that as we go, but I did want to show you the two um, simple boxes. One is, uh, let's see, that's eight ounces each, and then this one is four ounces each. So it just depends on the project that you're doing. And I also have some kits and stuff that I'm gonna show you. I have a lot to go over, <laughs> so let's get started. Um, so first of all, if we can go overhead, I want to show you some of the molds that we sell. So molds are one of the easier ways to use resin. Um, it kind of gives you a, uh, an object to create. So these are silicone molds, which makes it super, super easy because you don't have to use a mold release. Um, silicone molds are very flexible and you just pop your resin out when it has cured. So this is, these are examples, um, of this shape mold here. This, this kit actually comes with three different shapes. It comes with this hexagon, a circle, and a square. Um, but these are some really pretty, and these are, these are actually come with our net, a, a different kit that I'm gonna show you. But I just wanted to show you that shape because it is I the same those. shape and size. I love how many different looks you can get with resin. I, I know, it's really, truly amazing. So that's, this one is actually the real coaster um, kit that we sell. This is a five-piece coaster kit, and they are wood, so you can see um, you can see the wood, and then you pour in it, and then on top of it. So it's really fun. You can leave that raw wood and maybe stain it, fill it with resin. That's sort of the look that's on the um, on the label here. But then this one, you can see the resin was done over the whole thing, and so that's really really pretty. I love these wooden surfaces too because you can also add papers. You yes. can Mod Podge them and then pour the resin too. So you can yeah. really use all the different Mod Podge formulas. Yeah, and I believe this one is a, uh, is a craft paper Ooh, on there. That's pretty. Very pretty. So that's one of our surfaces. We call that a resin surface that we sell. 
Um, and then, let's see, let me show you some more of the coasters that you can get out of that, um, those silicone molds. So these, I picked four completely different ones. So you can see, really, you can use loose glitter and shells in there. You can use tints and alcohol inks. And that's what that looks like. I love the rainbow. Yeah, it's very pretty. Um, this one is, oh gosh, Jesse, remind me what this look is called. I can, oh, embedded. Terrazzo. Oh, terrazzo, yes. Yeah, so yes. You, could, you could fake a terrazzo. <laughs> and then this one is a mix of glitters and alcohol inks. And so really That's there's pretty. so much you can do. And then like Jesse said, you could also use papers, you can embed flowers, you can do so many different things. Resin is uh, sort of never ending ideas, which is one of the reasons why I love it. And here on the table, I've got uh, some little dishes. Those are cute. Super cute. This one has shells in it. Oh, that's great for like family vacation memories. You oh, can bring yes. home your shells. Uh huh. And then just loose glitter again. And there's so many glitters out there that you can, you can do all kinds of stuff. And then while I'm on this side, let me show you the two bigger kits that we sell. So this is do-it-yourself resin kit, and it comes with everything you need. This one is uh, the four coasters in that hex shape, and then this one is four coasters in a geode shape. So geodes are really hot. Um, this is a really fun kit, and it comes with the mold, it comes with the glitter, the stirrers, the uh, alcohol ink, and the resin. So it literally comes with everything that you could need. That's great. That's great for like beginners too. If you're just trying to totally. see it, try it out, if you've not done resin before, that's a really good um, kit to buy just to see if you like it. Yeah. Which you and will. And so if you use one of those kits, one thing that I do want to talk about is the safety behind uh, resin. So resin is, um, you know, like I said, it's a two part, um, it's a two part system. reaction. Yeah, <laughs> system. And so while it's in its liquid form, and when you pour it, it is considered toxic. So you want to wear your PPE, you want to wear your mask, your gloves, um, you know, as much as you can protect yourself. Um, but once it cures, it is non-toxic. And not only is it non-toxic, but it's also food safe. So you can uh, coat a cutting board or a plate, whatever you need for food. Once it's cured, it is food safe. That's so awesome. That's a really, really cool part of resin. All and right. We have, a, we have our guide too, right? That kind of walks you yes. through all of that. Yeah, and I, I've got that here. So I've got a, um, both of these can be found on our website, uh, plaidonline.com. And we've got a resin safety guide that you can download. And we also have a uh, resin frequently asked questions that you can download. So both of these things have a ton of information. It tells you all the materials you may need. Um, and it shows you, um, it gives you t some tips, some things like you don't want to go over 10% of your, um, your alcohol inks in your mixture, um, how long to stir it for, all that kind of stuff is in here. So these are two really good resources to download from our website. And I've just got a couple more things I wanna show you. We do have a couple other molds. So let me show you. One is this heart, um, heart mold. And these are great for gifts, um, for customizable things. You can see on that label there, someone did a nice little photo, a wedding photo inside one of these. That would be a great gift for a new couple. I would love that. And um, I've got a alphabet mold. These are great, just like on the picture, for keychains. Um, you could use them to then add to a, a, you know, something flat where you're spelling something out. These are great. And because it's silicone, they pop right out. And then I've got my wood plaque. And this is really cool. So this is made for resin. It has this cutout in here. And you pour your resin in here, you could do, I mean, there's so many things you could do with this. On the image, it shows, you know, a little beach scene. So like this is the, the sand, and then you have the water coming through, but you could really do so much with this. And this is much like the coasters that I showed you earlier that had that split in there. And you're not using all that much resin in here because it's not too deep, which is also nice. 
So that's a fun surface. And we have a couple different ones like that. I love that one. It reminds me of those like live edge tables you see on TikTok yes, that people pour it with is resin. Like that. Uh -huh. It's really pretty. Yeah. So everybody, thank you so much for listening to me talk about resin. It truly is one of my favorite things to work with. I do it all the time um, and I, I really do love it. Um, you know, I should mention just real quick, it is a 24 hour cure time. Um, so what you do is you can do it in layers and between each layer you want about an hour, um, but that's how you embed things. That's how people do those like goldfish and stuff like that where you're making layers and then you allow it to cure overnight and then it's hard as a rock, food safe, non-toxic, ready to go. So everybody, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful Mod Podge month. We are looking forward to Mod Podge Day here on Friday. Awesome, thanks so much, Tanisha. Um, so like I said, just in case you're joining us, we have all of our plaid creators here in the studio today talking about their favorite Mod Podge formulas in honor of National Mod Podge Month. So as a reminder, National Mod Podge Day is this Friday. So make sure to wear your Mod Podge colors and celebrate at home. Make sure you do some crafting um, in honor of Mod Podge Day. And for Mod Podge Day, we're going to be doing a really awesome giveaway. So we have this beautiful, beautiful journal that we had commissioned by an artist named Kathy Lowry. Um, so this is a junk journal. You guys have probably seen these. Super fun to make with Mod Podge. But we commissioned this from a junk journal artist, like I said, named Kathy. And we're going to be giving this away on Instagram. So make sure to check out all of our social channels on Friday. You'll see all of the different rules and how to enter to win this journal. Um, and in addition to this um, beautiful journal here made with Mod Podge, you'll also be getting some free Mod Podge product. So like I said, Friday is National Mod Podge Day. On our social channels, we'll be letting you know how you can enter to win this really, really beautiful notebook um, and some free Mod Podge. So if you need to stock up or if you've never used Mod Podge before, um, now's your chance to get some. So make sure to check those out on Friday. Um, we'll be talking about those. So again, guys, we are super excited here at Plaid. Of course, we are huge Mod Podge lovers. We're talking about um, all of our different Mod Podge formulas, all of our favorite formulas that we um, love and use all the time here. Um, so we have all of our creators here in the studio. Um, Friday is National Mod Podge Day. Like I said, you can see we've got our t-shirts here. Um, I do want to talk about the t-shirts too. You can purchase these t-shirts on Amazon. So if you go on Amazon and you type in Mod Podge t-shirt, we've got lots of designs. You've been seeing all of our content creators wearing the different ones today. Tanisha just had on one of my favorite retro design ones. Um, you can pick the colors and the size and all of that. But yeah, make sure to go check those out on Amazon. Um, and you can wear your own Mod Podge shirt for Mod Podge Day on Friday. It's prime, so you can get it just in time. <laughs> um, so guys, like I said before, um, I was talking about my favorite uh, Mod Podge formula, which is Mod Podge Outdoor. Um, these really cute mushroom lamps that my friend Sherry made. Um, you can see these on TikTok and on Instagram Reels. She did such a beautiful job with the little fairy lights. Um, but yeah, we're talking about all of our favorite formulas. So next up, we have Kirsten Jones, and she's gonna be talking about her favorite Mod Podge formula, um, which is kind of a, an oldie, but we also have a new one coming out pretty soon, and that is Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. So I'm gonna pass it over to Kirsten. Hey Jess, thanks so much. Well, this was my favorite, but after following Tanisha, I might give resin a try. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I, I knew I loved it, and I've always watched everyone in the studio create beautiful things, so this might be my second favorite next time <laughs> I'm on talking about Mod Podge. But for real, I absolutely love Mod Podge Puzzle Saver, and with all of the detailed formulas that everyone has gone over that do a million different things and they have so many different end uses. This has one simple end use and that is to save a puzzle. But the puzzle is, it's vintage, it's traditional, it's family activity. I think that's why Jess, and yeah. you'll be the one to say that I love a sappy uh, <laughs> mom memory moment. But the puzzle is all of that. So you take it on vacation, you do, on, you do it at Christmas, your whole family, grandparents and aunts and friends come around the table. And this is just a formula that takes all of that, and as, as uh, sappy as that sounds, but it takes all of that and it allows you to preserve it. Um, so the Mod Podge um, Puzzle Saver formula is a little bit thicker. It's a little 
fit easier to brush on and maintain that really heavy coat. Um, and the purpose for that is to get into all the nooks and crannies of a puzzle and allow you to preserve it. And you always see them framed, um, which is adorable and cute. And you can do that with both a spray adhesive um, or just an adhesive tape. But what the Mod Podge allows you to do is to be extra creative with your puzzle. So you can preserve it as a whole piece. Um, you can frame it, which is awesome, and you can add it to a gallery wall. But because the Mod Podge Puzzle Saver um, is so durable and so thick and just precisely formulated to put all of those pieces back together, you can be really creative. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is so simple, but something that's so fun. So you have your little puzzle, you created that on the beach or your kids had fun with it. And then you can break that puzzle apart into little sections and make little coasters. You can make a placemat that I have made before. My little niece worked on a puzzle that she won at a school, um, like a little school carnival, and she did not want ever to any of those pieces to fall apart. So we used our Mod Podge Puzzle Saver and it is a placemat when she has a snack or when she's doing some projects. And there's just so much that you can do with the durability of the Mod Podge Puzzle Saver formula. That is a mouthful. Um, so I wanna show you guys really, it, it's so easy. Um, there's not a lot of instructions, but the reason why it's my favorite and what I just want you guys to do is just think outside of the box and all of the ways with the durability that the formula provides, ways that you can preserve a puzzle. Um, so the steps are simple. I know Chris touched on one of her favorite Mod Podge tool sets. This happens to be mine. This is a basic brush set, but you get a really wide brush and you get a simple, um, about a one inch brush. And the reason we love these in the studio for Mod Podge is the handle. The handle just allows you to get a really even thick coat, whether it be a really large project or you wanna work in smaller corner areas. But the handles, the way you use them, the way they feel in your hand, they're just fabulous for the Mod Podge formula. So the Mod Podge Puzzle Saver is simply that easy. You work on something that protects your surface, whether it be um, plastic wrap, whether it be parchment paper. I love these reusable um, palette papers because nothing sticks to it and you can pull it right off. You simply get the Mod Podge and you apply a pretty thick coat. You don't want it so thick that you see um, drips or ridges in your formula after it dries, but you want it to be a much heavier coat than if you were simply base coating something with an acrylic paint. But you can see the formula is formulated. It fills in, it settles in all of those cracks where your puzzle pieces have gone together. You simply let that dry. Once it's dry, 30, 45 minutes, you flip it over. Again, make sure you've got a protected um, plastic on your table. You flip that over and you do the same thing to the back. And you guys, the durability is wonderful. This again would be the cutest little coaster. Um, it's just fun little activities. Instead of being a hundred piece puzzle, you could give it to a little kid and it's just a four piece puzzle. Um, but the kids have fun with it because they both have the memory of the puzzle and then it's a functional piece. Placemats, um, of course wall art, but coasters, placemats, anything that you can add Mod Podge to, you can um, use for the puzzle saver. So really Jess, it's the puzzle is why I love this formula yeah. so much. And I know we give a lot of puzzle gifts as a family. Grandparents love puzzles. Yes. Pictures <laughs> of their grandkids, then they do the activity and they have a beautiful photo at the end. Now with all of the great ways you can personalize puzzles, you can turn your kids artwork into a puzzle, a family photo, your pet, everything now you can turn into a puzzle which then becomes a family activity. And then you add the final step, with his, which is Mod Podge Puzzle Saver, and you've just got a perfect project. So for now, until next year when I try resin, this is <laughs> one of my favorite formulas for Mod Podge. So everyone get out there and make your puzzle and then preserve it and enjoy it forever. Thanks so much, Jess. Awesome, thank you, Kirsten. Um, like Kirsten said, that was our Mod Podge Puzzle Saver, which is obviously just like the name says, a great way to save and preserve your puzzles and your family memories. Um, and not only can you preserve your puzzles that you've made, but I love the idea that Kirsten had of turning them into placemats or um, you know, taking them into larger pieces for younger kids 
or um, using them as coasters and things like that. I think that's so fun and such a creative way to use those puzzles because I like making puzzles too. You know, I'll make them and then I'm kind of like, what do I do with this? So I love the idea of turning them into something new and kind of preserving those fun memories. So like I've been saying, guys, we have all of our creators here in the studio today talking about their favorite Mod Podge formulas in honor of National Mod Podge Month. So Mod Podge Day is this Friday, so we will be celebrating here um, with our friend Glossy. You guys all know and love our friend Glossy, so make sure to check that out. Check out our social channels on Friday to see all the fun we'll be having here in the office. We love to celebrate Mod Podge Day because, of course, we are such big Mod Podge lovers. Um, we've talked about some of our favorite formulas already. Emma talked about photo transfer, which is such a fun way to preserve memories um, and to give gifts, make things really personal personalize in your crafting. Tanisha talked about resin, which is so trendy right now. Um, if you go on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and you check out those videos, um, it's hard not to see resin. It is such a hot trend right now in the craft world, and there's just so many things you can do with it. So if you haven't tried Mod Podge resin, make sure to purchase one of those kits she talked about on platonline.com um, and give it a go for yourself. Chris was here talking about dishwasher safe, which is a really great one, such a classic specialty formula that we have here at Plaid. Um, so make sure to check that out too. A really great way to personalize, you know, your glassware and things like that. Another great gift giving one. You can make glitter glasses for wedding gifts and things like that. Um, but it really is just a lot of fun. So guys, like I said, we're celebrating here at Plaid. It is National Mod Podge Month. We've all got our Mod Podge t-shirts on. Um, and next up, we have Andy Jones. So you all know and love Andy Jones from our Let's Paint program, but you may not have known that he is also a Mod Podge lover. So he is here to talk about some of his favorite Mod Podge formulas, which are Mod Podge Crackle and Mod Podge Super Mat. So I'll pass it over to Andy. Thanks, Jesse. And when you were talking about all of us being here in the studio, it just occurred to me that we have three Joneses. We do here. have three, yeah. Um, and none of us related, but yeah. we are all related by our love of Mod Podge yes. and crafting. So as she mentioned, uh, there are two formulas that I just can't get enough of. I love the Mod Podge Super Matte Formula because I'm either one of those people that something has to be super incredibly glossy or I want no sheen at all. And I happen to love the Super Matte Formula. When it is applied, you get no shine at all. So it's absolutely matte and it gives a really, really high-end look to whatever kind of project that you're going to use it on. So we've got a great little project here which is uh, assembled from different sorts of scrapbook papers. These little vases have some napkins that are applied and then Mod Podged. And then we have these beautiful ornaments. Even though it is about to be summer here, it's never too early <laughs> to be thinking about Mod Podging an ornament. And why do we think about Christmas in the middle of summer, Jess? Christmas in July. Christmas in July, but it also gives you a little bit of time to get your project done ahead of time right so that you're not <laughs> scrambling uh, in the middle of December to get a few ornaments done <laughs> but I think um, in combination with a lot of glass ornaments on your trees the uh, super matte is a beautiful contrast for that so these are done with the uh, super matte formula over paper and if you are one of those people that loves folk art home decor chalk and you've done chalk painting on furniture, but you wanna give it a little bit more durable finish than the wax, this is your go-to product because this will give you a nice finish over your folk art home decor chalk and it doesn't have any sheen to it at all. So you keep that really nice kind of chalky finish. So that is one of the things that I love. The other thing I love is a crackle finish. And the Mod Podge um, Clear One Step Crackle is amazing because you can finally do a crackle finish over a design. So if we go overhead real quick, I'll bring this up so that you can see that we've decoupaged a um, design on the background. Then you apply the Mod Podge Crackle Medium on top of it. As it dries, it cracks and then we've done some antiquing there to make the crackle show up a little bit more. And one thing that I love about this crackle product is if you apply it very, very thickly with a very heavy coat, you're going to get nice, large cracks. If you apply a thin coat, you're going to get finer cracks. Now, don't think that it's some kind of scientific uh, calculation that you can do about how thick 
or how thin you need for a certain size crack. It just doesn't work that way. But generally speaking, thicker application, bigger cracks, thin application, smaller cracks. But it is that great kind of eggshell looking crackle finish that people always try to get. And now you can get it quickly and easily with your Mod Podge crackle finish. So bringing this up for a quick close-up so you can see it done on a very contemporary kind of uh, paper that was applied to this little plate and giving it that um, good old crackle finish there. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it is one of those things that people look and like, how did you get that to crack? And now you can say, I just used Mod Podge. And <laughs> it happens so quickly and so easily for you. And here, let me bring another one of these uh, pieces that has this beautiful crackle uh, used over some of our uh, beautiful scrapbook papers. And this, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a very light feminine kind of background or something, a little bit more uh, masculine or rustic. The crackle finish works on so many different kinds of um, projects. You absolutely cannot beat this. I love these two products. So that's what I'm working with now, Jesse. Awesome. So uh, you, if you find me with some Mod Podge, it's probably going to be one of these two products. <laughs> Don't I know it, Andy. Well, thanks so much, guys. That was Andy Jones talking about his favorite Mod Podge formulas, um, the brand new Super Matte, which, like he said, works really well in conjunction with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint because, um, like our Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint, which has that really chalky, super, super matte finish, so does our brand new Mod Podge Super Matte. So if you're gonna be decoupaging with our chalk paint, make sure to check that out because they go really great together. Um, and like he said, our crackle formula is so good because it's one step. So there's a lot of different crackle formulas out there in the crafting world, and a lot of them are multiple steps and they're really easy um, to sort of mess up and make a big mess out of. But our one step Mod Podge crackle is super easy. You just apply it, let it crack, and then you're done. And you get a beautiful crackled antique finish. Um, another thing I wanna talk about, since we're here talking about Mod Podge and our love of Mod Podge, is our Mod Podge printables library. So in case you didn't know, on platonline.com, we have a Mod Podge free downloadable library where we have tons and tons and tons of different printables you guys can print out at home on your printer and make beautiful decoupage projects with. So I have an example here, um, some cute little plant pokes, and you get a page of all these different little plant names, all of your little herbs and things like that. Um, and this is one of our surfaces that we sell also on platonline.com, and it's just super easy to do. So it's kind of special because you get to craft it, um, but a really great way to you know put in your little plant pots so you know which herbs are which. Um, there's tons of different designs like this. We actually have a couple new designs that are special just for Mod Podge Day that you can find in our printables library. Um, they're super mod. They're very um, fun. They're very trendy. This one says stay groovy, good vibes and love um, with these really cute daisies. So um, just in the Mod Podge colors, really fun for celebrating Mod Podge Day, which is this Friday. So make sure to check those out. Like I said, that's on platonline.com and it is all free. There's so many patterns and letters and fonts and just fun little, here's a cute little watercolor um, quotes you can put on a coaster. Um, just really, really fun and unique things, and it's all free to you. So you can use it all with all of these awesome formulas, whether it's our outdoor Mod Podge, our dishwasher safe, um, another really fun one that's coming up with our final creator today, um, and not to mention a very special guest. So make sure if you've stuck around with us this long, make sure you hang on because we're kind of getting to the grand finale here. Um, but just a reminder guys, Friday is National Mod Podge Day, so we're doing an awesome giveaway. We're giving away this beautiful junk journal made with Mod Podge, um, in addition to some free Mod Podge uh, formulas that you'll get in the mail from us. So make sure to check that out. Yeah. If you're a longtime Mod Podge user or you've never used Mod Podge, this is a really great way to get some. So make sure to check that out on all of our social channels on Friday, um, and you'll see how to enter that. Um, so guys, like I said, in case you're just joining us, I know I keep repeating myself, but I know it's kind of a long live stream. We're talking about all of our favorite Mod Podge formulas today. We've got all the creators here in the studio, which is always a really good time talking about some of our favorite plaid products. Um, and our final product is going to be 
with our good friend Bianca Octavia, who's in the studio today talking about her favorite formula, which is Mod Podge fabric. And she also has a very special guest with her, which is our very good friend Glossy, who's super excited about her birthday on Friday. So I'm going to pass it over to Bianca now. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I am here with the queen of Mod Podge, Glossy. <laughs> it is her 56th birthday and we are super ex excited to celebrate with you guys. So we're gonna tell you a little bit about my favorite formula, which is Mod Podge fabric. And then we'll tell you a little bit more about her birthday party details that is coming up this Friday. So, like I said, my favorite Mod Podge formula is the fabric one. And that is because when I think of this formula, the first two things that come to my mind is fashion and home decor, which are two of my favorite things. Um, and this formula, of course, is used to do any fabric related formula. So anytime you wanna apply fabric or fabric on top of more fabric, <laughs> that is when you will use this formula. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you some fun facts and tips about this formula. So the first thing is, so when you want to use this for maybe applying fabric, like I said, on top of more fabric, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the overhead. You want to grab a piece of fabric and you want to apply the Mod Podge onto the back of it after you cut it and everything. And you're just going to apply a light coat and then you can lay it down on top of the fabric and you want to let it dry. And if you have fabric that is possibly going to fray, a quick tip, what you can do is add a layer of the fabric Mod Podge on top of it, let it dry, and then you can go to cut it. So I have a piece that has dry here, and I'm going to cut it for you guys just so you can see that it does not fray when we cut it. So that is a really cool thing about this formula. So as you can see, and I'll hold it up, you can see that it did not fray once we cut it. So like I said, you just want to add a coat to the top of that fabric, let it dry, and then you can cut it. And then you can add it on top of your fabric. And the other cool thing that is really cool about this formula is that this is machine washable. So after you have created a wearable project, you can throw this in the washing machine on a gentle cycle. You wanna make sure you're, you are using cold water. And if you don't want to place it in the washing machine, you can hand wash your, wash, your wearable projects. And you wanna make sure that you are letting them air dry. And that is how you can create some pretty cool wearable projects. So we'll go ahead and we'll slide this one off to the side. And then we'll talk about home decor. So let's bring over two of my favorite projects that I pulled out. And that is these really cool spring carrots here. And then we also have a pillow. So like I talked about earlier, if you're wanting to apply fabric on top of more fabric, you're just gonna take your cutouts, you're gonna apply the Mod Podge onto the back of it, and then you're going to place it on top of the surface or the pillow or the shirt or anything home decor related um, that you're gonna be placing it on top of. And then you're gonna let it dry. And then just some other cool ideas or some project inspiration, is to create some other home decor. So here I have some spring carrots, and these were done totally with the Mod Podge fabric, so these are no-sew. So that is another cool way that you can use this formula. You can create things like this without having to use your sewing machine. And as good as a crafter as I am, I have no idea how to use a sewing machine. So <laughs> a formula would, yeah. like this is <laughs> heaven sent for me. So this is just a really, really cool idea that you can do at home. And then I do want to pull over something else that is really cool. It is another wearable project. And that is these pair of shoes right here. So I love this project because like I said earlier, I really love clothes, I love fashion. And this is just a really fun project. Um, I think that using my Podge fabric is a cool way to transform a pair of shoes. So I'm sure these probably cost no less than $10 or no more than $10. But after you add your fabric and you use your Mod Podge fabric, they look like really high-end designer shoes. So these are just a couple of cool projects. And then we have one more. And then I'll share a few more tips about this formula. So here is another really cool wearable project. So this is just a canvas bag and we've turned it into a makeup clutch or makeup purse for a bride. And you can see that it says, I do. So again, we just have more fabric and we've also applied these really pretty pearls onto the front of it. 
And again, like I said, this is machine washable. You want to make sure that you clean it on a gentle cycle or you can also hand wash it. Like Chris said earlier, if you hand make it, you probably want to hand wash it, but you can throw these into the washing machine. So those are just a couple of our really cool projects. And I want to go ahead and give you guys some details about our upcoming party. So if you're following Plaidcrafts on social media, you've probably already seen some of the really cute and fun projects that we have been crafting. And all of those are for the upcoming party that we will be hosting here at Plaid on Friday for Glossy. <laughs> so Glossy will be turning 56 and we want to celebrate her in the best way possible. And we want to make sure that you guys <laughs> join us on Friday so that you can see the big celebration. And maybe you can even show up with your favorite favorite Mod Podge formula. So we will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And Glossy, I want to give you some cupcakes before we head out of here. Oh. <laughs> so happy early birthday. Aww. <laughs> thank you for inspiring our creativity for over 50 years. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Thanks, Bianca. That's awesome. Um, so like Bianca said, she is planning Glossy's birthday party, which is this Friday. It is also National Mod Podge Day, so make sure to check out those videos. Bianca's been um, showing us lots of really fun crafts that you can do for um, a party, whether you're a giant bottle of Mod Podge or just a regular person at home having your birthday. There's lots of fun crafts that she's been showing us on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure to check those out. Um, so guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Bianca and Glossy and all of our Plaid creators here in the studio. We loved hearing about all the different formulas that you guys like to use in your crafting. Um, and there really are so many more. We only touched, we just skimmed the surface of all the different Mod Podge formulas in the Mod Podge family. So make sure to go to plaidonline.com slash Mod Podge to see all the different formulas you can get. Make sure to check out our social channels on Friday. Um, we'll be doing a great giveaway and posting lots about our Mod Podge celebration here at Plaid. Um, we're so excited, like I said, all month long in May is National Mod Podge Month. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We had so much fun with you guys today. We'll see you next time.